Welcome to the screencast where I'm going to show you how to use Google to find images that you can use for student projects. So here I am in my web browser. I've gone to just a regular www.google.com and if you want to go right to image search you can click on the image link up here at the right or if you do a search, I'm going to do a search here for puppies and hit return. Uh, this does a web search so these are all different links that'll take me to things related to puppies but here's the choice for images and that'll take me to the image choices uh, for what I want to see. So now when you're here at the image search results, all of these pictures that come up, some of them are copyrighted and it's kind of hard to know which is copyrighted and which isn't. But Google has built in a tool here in the search tools that helps you to filter that. So if you do your search, you then go to search tools and this drops down another menu here. One of the choices on this menu is usage rights. So if I click on usage rights and I'll make this a little bigger so you can see it. Under usage rights, right now it's not filtered by any license. This means it'll find any image related to what you searched for that's available on the internet. The second choice here though is labeled for reuse. If you choose labeled for reuse, this redoes your search and now the pictures that come up were put on the internet by someone that gave permission as they put it on the internet for others to take and use it. This, you still have to cite the image. This doesn't get away from citing our images, but at least these are pictures that you know you can legally take and use. What's nice is the search tools stay up here at the top and now you can see the label for reuse is listed here, meaning that any pictures below are available to be used. So let me go back to normal view here. So here's all the puppy pictures that came up. Let's say I want to use this puppy picture. When you do a Google image search, you can click on this. This is a thumbnail. It's not good to take the thumbnail uh, picture because this is a very quick result that Google finds. It's not the real picture. If you were to take and use that in a project and make it a little bit bigger, uh, it might get pixelated. When you click on the picture though, you get this black area that appears. This is the preview for the picture. So here's a preview image. Again, this is still not the real image. What's nice though is in this preview area, Google gives you a button over here that says view image. This takes you to where the image is really hosted. Also, this information about the picture, it tells you right here, this says this picture, the original picture is 1143 by 851, which is a decent sized picture uh, that would be uploaded to the internet. So if you need to get to the original picture, if this picture is not good enough quality, which this one looks like it is, so maybe we'll, we'll try and use that one. But if I need to get to the real picture, I can click on view image and this takes me to the full blown real size of the picture, which look, that's a little bigger than a normal web browser window. Okay, let me hit my back button. So when you're also in this preview area for a picture, if you have to find, when you have to find citation information, this button is very helpful to do that, this visit page button. By visiting the page, if I click through to that, this takes me to the page where the picture is actually sitting. So here's the St. Bernard puppy over here on the right. This is the title of the picture. What you might find here is you will find information that will help you create your citation. Now we recommend that students use EasyBib to create your citation. So here I have EasyBib already open and I've chosen to cite a digital image. So when using EasyBib you just work your way down and you fill out whatever information you can find. So in this case the title of my picture would be St. Bernard Puppy uh, description if I needed one. If I knew who the author was or the photographer was of the picture, I could fill in that name if I was able to find that on the page. If I can't find that on the page, that's all right to leave that blank. Uh, I could say what website I got this from. You should list the website title. You should also copy the URL for the page. So if I were to copy this URL and put it right in here, that would, uh, that would show credit to where I got the picture from. If there is, if it's listed on the page as to what date that picture was published, I can fill that out. Sometimes you can't find that information and that's okay. Date access though, you should click on today for whatever date you're doing this so that that fills in and that will help you all create your citation. So that's a little bit with finding the information about the picture. Now let's talk about taking and using the picture. Let me go back to my Google image search here. So as we said, you could take and use the full size picture. Sometimes the preview size is just fine. So it all depends on, whoops, clicked through there. It all depends on what your intent is, what you're planning to do with the picture. So if I click on this, oops, click on that. Let's say I want to take and use this picture. The quality is good. It doesn't, I'm, you know, I'm not going to put it anywhere that I'm going to need to make it any bigger so I won't lose any quality. 
A few ways to do this. I'm going to make my browser a little bit smaller here. One way is, depending on the type of computer you're working on, you typically can click and hold on a picture with the mouse or the trackpad, and then you can drag and drop it to your desktop. This is good if you're needing to take the picture and put it into another program. Maybe you're going to put it into something like an iMovie, or you're going to upload it, and, and you need the actual picture. If the drag and drop doesn't work, you can do a right click with your mouse if you're using a mouse or a trackpad or some computers if it's a Mac you can do hold down the control key and do a click and you can do save image as. When you choose save image this will bring up a window of your computer and you can choose to save something to your desktop or to a specific folder. If you're using Google Docs or Google slide presentation and you want to take that picture and put it into something I'm working in the Chrome browser right now. Here, I'll make this bigger. Let's say I want to put this picture onto this slide presentation that I have right here. Whoops, did that earlier. We'll take that one out. You can click and hold on a picture, and if you move your mouse arrow up to the top, and this, and what I mean by the mouse arrow is that black arrow. If that black arrow, if you move that across the tabs that are open in your browser, notice that the tab switches and shows me whatever window it is or whatever tab it is that I'm on. So in this case, I'm going to go from the puppies area here. So I grabbed the photo, and I'm still clicking and holding. And I'm going to drag over to my slide presentation and drop this right onto the slide presentation. So you can actually drag and drop something from one tab to another, for sure in the Chrome browser. Not sure if this works in, in other browsers or not. But that's super helpful. So now I've put the picture here. I would probably create my citation using EasyBib with whatever information I have and I would take that citation same thing here too you can actually highlight this text actually copy is better for that if I do a copy and I can put this if I make a little text box right below my picture there's my text box and I can paste that right in as a citation I can make that font a little smaller so it doesn't draw too much attention and just kinda of tuck it right under the picture that's giving proper credit to wherever you got your picture from so that is how you can find images using Google Image Search, how you can filter so you can find images that you're legally allowed to use, and also how to make your citation. Thanks for watching.